I sort of hadn't done nudes, and then um, Mrs. Maz Thompson, the Islander, um, and she showed me a sketch that she'd done years ago, just a, a five-minute sketch of the back view. I think she did it in Holland. And it was just such a startling pose, I thought it had to be sculpted with it, so I sculpted it. Carol lives in Brisbane. She's one of David Wells' models. You, you may remember David, he painted the portrait of Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge. And uh, Debbie Reynolds has got the portrait of Carrie Fisher that she did in Hong Kong. And this is one of his models. And this is half of a tallow wood tree that people cut down on the island. I split it down the middle and I put Carol on one and we go this way and Michelle on the other half of the tallow wood tree. It's a shame that they cut the tree down, but at least this does something with it. This is um, Joanna. Joanna is the biggest piece I've done so far. As she is, she weighs one tonne and she's hard to move her out. Joanna was uh, one of a group of Brazilian dancers that came over to our multicultural And she festival. was such a, a magnificent warrior queen. She was an absolute warrior queen. I, she had to be sculpted. And she agreed, and there she is. And because Joanna is so special, I have her going into the back of the log and coming out like a dryad as the tree spirit in the front of the log. And that's what she is. Joanna is a dryad. She's this forest red gum dryad. A fantasy piece. I mean, it's whatever you want it to be. It was a, it was one solid dead um, silky oak stump in a friend's uh, garden. They wanted to get rid of it. It was dead. And it so I just cut it off, brought it home, and just did things. And that's what I did. Every house, of course, must have a totem. So wherever we go, I build a totem. And this is the totem for here. This is our island totem with kookaburras and owls and bush thick bees and a sea eagle. And on the back, because Linda, my wife, is Cherokee Indian, Cherokee Indian pioneer settler, born in Broken Bow, Oklahoma. This is the image of an American Indian that Water Rally took back to England, and it's carved in the pew end of a church that she used to go to in Devon when she spent 30 years there. So that's for Linda. Milton's Paradise Lost, we have Innocence. That's in uh, Island Cyprus. This is um, Banksia. Temptation, and I call that one contemplation, thinking about what I've done, should I have done it, should I have eaten that fruit. This is my studio, this is where I do my work. Linda thinks it should be her back garden, but it's never going to happen. This is my workplace and I love it, and it's not going to get changed. And these are my tools, these are some of the things I'm working on. This is an antique mall that I knock these big benches together with. <laughs> because I work alone and I have big trunks, like that one down there, which is a monster to move around. I have a wallaby jack by Trawalla. Australia was opened up with wallaby jacks. That's, mo that's probably a, over a hundred years old, so is this. Then again, I'm getting near a hundred, so. We're a, we're a matching set. This is quite a substantial she oak log. Now, if I want to lift, I'm 76, I can't lift that anymore. So, I use artificial aids. And when I don't want to lift it anymore, I let it down. And that's the way it works. That was made by a blacksmith long, long ago, forged by real hands. By a real craftsman, which is a fairly simply made, but they're made to last forever. This is mortised right through there, and it's checked in there, as normally is that. And then, when they're ready, I balance everything up and knock it together, and then it's there forever. Bye bye. Melaleuca, paperbark, beautiful timber paperbark, and that's uh, uh, an 
African hartebeest antler, very old, came to Australia many years ago. This is how wood sculpting is done, with the massive ones, you start with a chainsaw and shift lots and lots of waste timber, because all sculpting is, is removing waste. When you finish with, all, well, no matter what, well, what material you're using, you just keep on taking waste away until you have a sculpture left. And with timber, it's wonderful because there's always a tree will always know what it wants to be. I've learned this. And if you do as the tree tells you, you'll end up with a beautiful sculpture almost every time. If you try and fight it, which I no longer do, you'll end up with a mess. And having gone chip, 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 chip for long enough, you get the sandpaper, which is over there, and you go sand, 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 through about, what did I use, 12 different grades of sandpaper, down to about, you know, from 40 grit down to about 1200 grit. And then polish for internal interior pieces and uh, decking oil and stuff like that for exterior pieces so it's all very simple well, the various pieces take various lengths of time this is very hard bloodwood so the carving will take quite a long time um, it will probably take me something like a week to carve that and three or four days to sand it so probably overall couple of weeks to finish it but I would be doing bits and pieces on other things in between times. The big Joanna, the biggest piece, she was three months full time. 